morning viewers welcome to yet another episode of krishi vikas i am your host saumya today we are going to deal with the most important and informative topic that is protected cultivation of tomato protected cultivation is a recent technology that is gaining importance in many parts of the world to know more about its technical details we have invited a group of eminent scientists to share their valuable information with us Let me introduce you, Dr. Sukanya, Principal Scientist from Center of Plant Protection and Technology, Indian Agriculture Research Institute, New Delhi. She has got a vast experience in this field of more than 20 years. Next, we have with us Dr. Shivaji, Principal Scientist, National Center for Integrated Pest Management, New Delhi. He has a vast experience as the Plant Protection Officer. for the horticulture crops next we have with us dr sugni principal scientist from the department of post harvest technology indian agriculture research institute new delhi she has a vast experience in this field for more than 20 years next we have with us dr vishwambar principal scientist from the department of floriculture indian institute of vegetable research varanasi he has the vast experience in pot- uh, tomato cultivation next we have with us dr smriti rekha principal scientist from the department of plant physiology indian agriculture research institute new delhi she has got more than 16 years of experience next we have with us dr subedhar principal scientist national institute for agriculture economics and policy research he has got more than 20 years of experience i welcome you all to this program let me begin with dr sukanya can you please tell our viewers what exactly protected cultivation is and where it can be undertaken thank you ms somia the main purpose of protected cultivation is to create a favorable environment for sustainable yield generally protected cultivation is done under polyhouse a polyhouse should construct it in north south direction for adequate availability of sunlight and ventilation within the structure an ideal polyhouse should be 20 meter into 15 meter dimension with 3.6 meter long generally polyhouse is covered with uv resistant high density polyethylene sheet of 200 micrometer thickness most importantly the land selected for polyhouse should be free from water logging the soil should be well drained loamy with adequate availability of organic matter thank you thank you dr sukanya for your valuable information next dr vishwamar can you please tell us what are the cultural practices to be followed under this polyhouse condition thank you mr somia mostly tomato is grown is well grown under protected cultivation at first nursery prepared with 400 g seed of tomato on raised beds later 20 to 20 days old seedling are planted on the raised beds with 1.5 meter beds usually fertigation is practiced with 100 60 and 80 kg of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium in general in determined variety like avatar all rounder arka surbi are most suitable for cultivation under protected cultivation thank you thank you dr vishambha for a valuable insights well our farmers will be more curious to know about the various insect pests associated with this and also their remedial practices so Dr Shivaji can you please throw some light in this aspect well miss somya as we are growing the crop under protected environment biological physical and mechanical method will not be effective moreover our aim is to produce export quality tomatoes so it should be blemish free hence it is always advisable to go for judicious use of recommended insecticide prevention is always better than cure So, use of insect-resistant varieties like Arca Amol and Arca Surbi will help us to reduce the pest incidence. Before going into any chemical spray, proper monitoring of the pest population is very important. For which yellow sticky traps for the white fly monitoring can be used. Among the various sucking insect pests, 
white fly, thrips, and mites cause severe damage. They devitalize the plant by sucking the sap and acts as a factor for the various plant viral diseases like mosaic and leaf curl. To control them, at first, seed treatment with imidacloprid at the rate 5 gram per kg of seed can be used. To control the white fly and thrips, azadirachtin 6% at the rate 1 gram per liter and thiamethoxan 17% at the rate 1 ml per 3 liter of water can be used. To control the mites, miticide such as decofol at the rate 5 ml per liter of water can be used. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Shivaji for your valuable information. Dr. Smriti Rekha, as a plant physiologist, can you tell our viewers if there is any physiological disorder in the polyhouse condition? If so, what are their remedies? Sure, Ms. Soumya. Several physiological disorders do occur. These are abiotic abnormalities in fruit color or appearance, of which most common are fruit and flower drop. This occurs due to high temperature and can be easily controlled by spraying of 50 ppm of perichlorophenoxyacetic acid at the time of flowering. Next important disorder is blossom end rot. It is the rotting or blackening of the fruit at the flower end. To manage this, optimum nitrogen application, irrigation at regular intervals and spraying of 0.5% calcium chloride solution should be done on the fruits as well as flowers. Next is fruit cracking. It occurs due to moisture and temperature fluctuations which drastically reduces the fruit quality. It can be controlled by light and frequent irrigation and by harvesting the fruits just before the ripening stage. As tomato cultivated in such conditions fetches premium price in the market, therefore, utmost care should be taken for getting good quality fruits. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Smriti Rekha. Definitely, our farmers will be more cautious about these physiological disorders. And as we all know that right stage of harvesting is an integral part of any agriculture practice. Please, Dr. Sugni, can you please throw some light in this aspect? Thank you, Ms. Somia for giving me this opportunity. As rightly pointed, right stage of harvesting is very important. As far as tomato is concerned, harvesting is done at four different stages depending upon the purpose. At first, fruits are picked at mature green stage for distant market, while turning or breaker stage are picked for selling in the local market. Half ripe stage are generally used for uh, domestic purpose and fully ripe or red stage are generally uh, preferred for uh, processing. Generally harvesting starts by 70 to 80 days after planting and the harvested produce can be stored up to 7 to 8 days at 15 degrees Celsius. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Sugni for this valuable information. Well, Dr. Subedar, as an economist, do you think so that or switching over to this protected cultivation will be an economically viable option for a farmer friends? Thank you, Ms. Soumya. Protected cultivation of tomato is more economical than conventional cultivation. When grown under poly house, tomato yield up to 160 quintal per thousand meter square compared to open field 70 quintal per thousand meter square. Net benefit in poly house to lakh 50,000 and in open field 85,000 rupees only. So, we can get approximately 130,000 rupees and major problem of protected cultivation in India is initial establishment cost of the poly house. But now, National Horticulture Board provide 50 percent cost subsidy under the scheme of National Horticulture Mission. Therefore, I would request our farmer friend please adopt protected cultivation of tomato by utilizing this scheme to get benefit. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Subeda. Definitely, our <coughs> farmer friends are more motivated and they will definitely switch over to this protected cultivation of tomato. Dear farmers, we hope that you are well informed about this protected cultivation of tomato. Now, I would like to thank all my experts, that is Dr. Sukanya, Dr. Shivaji, Dr. Sugni, Dr. Vishwambar, Dr. Smriti Rekha and Dr. Subedhar for their expert views. As you are well informed about this technology, 
For further details, you can always contact us at our address, Krishi Vikas, post box number 840, ICAR NAM, Rajendra Nagar, Hyderabad, 500030, Telangana. Or you can even mail us to our ID, Krishi Vikas at the rate of gmail.com or you can even call to our toll free number 18000-8800. I repeat 18000-8800. That's all for today. We will meet again in the next week at the same program and at the same time. Till then, goodbye and Jai Hind.